Welcome back to Movie Drinkers. Today we're bringing back our special segment, Old But Not Obsolete. Luca? Okay, uh, for today I'm gonna propose you a classic, super classic, Casablanca. The movie is still amazing even nowadays, even if it is black and white, even if they speak in a kind of a strange English by now, but I think it still has the whole the whole charm, the whole uh, atmosphere that he must have ever uh, in the 40s. Of course, Humphrey Bogart is one of his uh, most uh, famous uh, the most movies. Famous, yeah. The most famous, probably. Ingrid Berma also, she's uh, very beautiful, uh, very nice. And the story itself, it's just uh, struggling against the evil that uh, you can still feel nowadays. And the love story just uh, gets from that from that uh, situation. So I highly recommend it. Not the colored one, but the original black and white. Yes, I'm going with Conan the Barbarian. If you ever have a checklist for action movies, this movie has it all. You have a cunning bad guy that has yields great power. You have um, you know a hero that everybody can get behind, overcoming great odds, uh, sweet action scenes and amazing dialogue and quotes. So everything that you ever want in an action movie, this one has it. If you already watched it before, you rewatch it, you're gonna find like little little, little, little things little that, little that, little that you're gonna go maybe I missed, yeah. missed it the first time, you know, like like all the doll pelts all of a sudden are showing up on the shoulders and you know the the end of the witch love and stuff like that. This uh, you know it's really it's it, <laughs> <laughs> it's ah, uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing movie. The movie we're going to review today is um, is The Martian. The Martian is a 2015 sci-fi movie directed by Ridley Scott. It is based on Andy Weir's novel about an astronaut mistakenly left on Mars and his journey to stay alive. It stars Matt Damon. This was a um, uh, a good movie. Um, and uh, it has, a, you know, a, a space adventure, and it's good to have a space adventure that has like some of these things that are based on science, and you can just get behind the main character. Um, there are a lot of scenes that are pretty charming, like for example, uh, farming potato mm -hmm. uh, on Mars. I mean, the, the the you know how he has to overcome and stuff like that, and, and just you know anybody who lives on the suburb or has a backyard. And grow stuff in the backyard. They're gonna, gonna you know, kind of relate yeah, to that. Correct to that. Exactly. Oh, so I you know, this is a, a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it has a weakness, yeah, and the weakness is, is uh, the horrible it's acting. Cold. It's cold. It's called Matt Damon, <laughs> and Matt Damon <laughs> is at least I, I don't know if everybody knows, but it's been known to ruin movies. Just having his presence subtracts from the movie, and this movie could have been. So great. You put in, you know, obviously you put in Chris Pine, it would be a great movie. Oh, yeah. But you put in a lot of different other actors and it would be a fantastic movie. Just Matt Damon is a guy, you look at his face what's, and... What's the problem with Matt Damon? What is not a problem with Matt Damon? <laughs> One of the most things that make him kind of not good is because he's one of the, mo the most awful actors ever. When he acts, you actually see that he's acting, right? I mean, that's the yeah. part that really make me, makes me kind of say, what the hell am I watching now? I mean, yeah. So for me, I mean, I, of course, I'm a big sci-fi movie fan, so I like this movie a lot, for the same reason why Alfred uh, said. And um, that year was actually like a great year for uh, sci-fi movies. Amazing year. Amazing yeah. year. But I would say that uh, as much as I like that, uh, of course, I'm one of a great fan also of uh, Ridley Scott, which I believe it did an excellent job, even by now it's a super pro, so of course. it does this very easily. The only thing I can say is that um, I think that many characters were quite annoying. And I'm not talking about Matt Damon. I think many other Matt Damon had most of the screen time though. Yeah, exactly, but even, the, for example, many of the people at the NASA, at NASA, they're quite annoying. Especially the guy that came out with the astrophysic guy that comes out with the theory of the, of the, of the slingshot. Yeah. Man, when he went to talk about that at the other Nazi, he was. Man, I would kick his ass, man. Really. I mean, it was so freaking annoying. I think that's Danny Glover's son. 
all he had was, okay, I'm going to present this story. How do you make this character interesting? It's not, not much to develop. Make him very annoying, very... Uh, there's not, not much for him to do, right? So, was it... Yeah. So, I think overall, I think it was an excellent movie. Very enjoyable, wonderful story. Absolutely wonderful. Great sci-fi, uh, sci-fi. Uh, special effects. Amazing, sure. Yeah. How many times? How many times? I watched it uh, probably ten times. Definitely, ten times. With uh, some... Uh, Fast forward with the, for the annoying parts, but 10 times, 90% of the movie. I would watch the potato growing. growing. Yeah, like a five. Like five, five, five times. Yeah, five I'm times. Like that's it. Uh, the rest of the movie probably like no? once. When they found the pathfinders and so that was quite quite cool actually. Nah, yeah, it was a lot of mad things. Ah, too much Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, I... So pretty much, you prefer potatoes to Matt Damon. That's pretty much the... Potatoes is way better than Matt Damon. Matt Damon. So, Are you okay. kidding me? Okay, now we found, finally we found the right, uh, the right comparison to... Uh, potatoes for... here, Matt Damon. And then pretty much that. Okay, let me make it out of the screen. Far, far <laughs> yes, you can't even see my hand where Matt Damon is. So only Potato, when Matt... Matt Damon. So only when Matt Damon gets out of the screen, then the thing... Exactly! Is... It just picks up and everything oh, looks yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you go back and you go, okay, let me put another face into the story. Hey, the story is pretty good. Yes, yeah. any other face, like potato face. Mr. Potato. Next time, Mr. Next potato. Time. Next, time. Next time, Matt Damon. If you're offered a great role, just give it to Chris Pine. It's done. Simple. Give or, it to your friend. Or give it ben to Mr. Affleck. Potato. Give, <laughs> give it to Mr. Potato. That would be better. Yes, <laughs> at this point, I will. Okay. So I hope that, I mean, you didn't get too offended when we compare you to Mr. Potato. Oh, well, actually, Mr. Potato. Yeah, Mr. Potato, please don't, don't be offended. <laughs>